because he's a very funny guy. So uh, thank you very much. How you guys doing tonight? I wish I had this fucking table. Oh, this one. I got your chair up here, buddy. Don't worry. This isn't your first time being at a comedy show, is it? You want to come over here for a second? No? Because I want to ask you some questions. Can't do it? Come on, be a champ. All right, come on. Come on over here. Give it up for this little guy. Go ahead and take a seat. I'm just kidding. All right, so what's your name? No name. Good job, Ted. You started off well. Birth certificate with a question mark. Luke. That's a good name. That's a good name. Um, what have you learned about rape so far? It's funny shit. I mean, yeah, I agree. Um, is there anything you you don't talk about this stuff with your friends at school, do you? That's good. Keep that. Keep that on the inside and never let it out, okay? All right. You feel uncomfortable up here? You think these guys are funny? Do you know what they're talking about half the time? Sorry. Let's keep it that way. All right, you can go back ahead. You, you've been a chance. Give it up for Luke, everybody. <laughs> Luke is not a virgin in the comedy scene. Uh, he, he's been impregnated by us in our vulgarity before. I'm really surprised his dad brought him back, to be honest. Give it up for the dad of Luke. Luke is his dad, everybody. Oh, jeez. Speaking of rape jokes, feels good to be out here. Feels good that everybody's as far back from the stage as possible. Feels really inviting. Feels good. Feels like a rape. Um, well, let's see. Does anybody believe that the best things in life are free? People are kind of indecisive. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know if I believe in it either. Um, if you do believe in it, uh, then I don't. You know, I don't believe in rape. Then. <laughs> so I think pussy is pretty awesome, <laughs> and uh, people shouldn't you know be holding to keeping it to themselves. If I want it, it's free. Fuck it. It's the best thing, right? <laughs> Whatever you want. Reese's cups. Go to the gas station. Just fucking walk out with them. They can't stop you. Use the best things in life. <laughs> Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Um, Eric, are, is Eric here? Woo! You, are you from one, you're one one cube, Val? Oh, okay. Good. I like to hear that. <laughs> Just saying, because we'll probably lose it tonight. Um, cause I, I was kind of wondering if everybody was here to see him. How, how many people are here to see Eric tonight? Give it up for the headliner. Woo! All right, cool. I was just curious, because I have a lot of like rape jokes and stuff. <laughs> I knew that those were going to come. <laughs> Literally. Oh, Jesus. Got my iPhone. Everybody have smartphones in here? Clap for fucking smartphones. I don't care. Anyways, I have to look at it, because I lose focus. Prescription pills. Um, but rape, I, I don't know. I, I kind of think, is it, ladies, do you believe in equal rights? Equal rights, voting and shit. Come on. Why aren't there more guys raped out there? That's what I want to know. Why don't you see like three chicks like sitting outside Fatty McGee's on like a Wednesday night? Just like, we're gonna get the first hot guy that comes out and we're gonna rape the shit out of him. Like I don't, there's not enough of that. You gotta stand up for your rights, ladies. Guys need to get raped too. Let's, let's balance this out. Come on. We're talking about rape jokes. He likes it. The little guy likes it. He's a little that likes the rape jokes. That kind of concerns me, Dad. Um, <laughs> fucking rape. Most of this is about rape. That's sad. Uh, anyways. So, uh, I've been sober for about a few months. I don't know how many months. Can't keep track of time. It's been weird. Just give it up for being sober. Is anybody else sober in here? We're at a cafe. Obviously, you're not drunk now if you are pre gaming. Give it up for pre gaming. Um, <laughs> and it's weird being sober. Uh, and I'm trying to be sober and go out to the bar still. And it's kind of like being a straight guy going to a, like a Chippendales to the club. <laughs> Just like, it's not, it's, you don't get the same enjoyment out of it. 
as somebody else might would, like an alcoholic. Um, sorry, I'm a little slow tonight. I had a spider bite yesterday, and I think I might pass out at some point. That's the truth. Or I'll turn into uh, Toby McGuire and just look really gay up here. Um, <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I do comedy. Um, other people do comedy. We're all doing comedy. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm back to the phone. Smartphone. Does anybody have the new iPhone 4S, the one that you can talk to? You do? That's cool. I think smartphones are going to eventually make us retarded, which is kind of oxymoronic. I don't know. It's funny to me because. Uh, like, you need them for everything. Like, you can't leave the house or, like, fucking do anything without a smartphone these days. Like, you have to, like... I like think it's kind of pathetic. And I'm only 26. Uh, a lot of you guys are a little bit older than that. I'll be safe to say. You guys might... You guys are, what, 28, 29? Yeah, no worries. I'm not that funny. I set up comedy shows. You know, I bring funny people here. But I'm, uh, I'm not that funny. But anyways... Uh, I think it's bullshit. I think smartphones are retarded. Uh, I think we're eventually going to become like cavemen. Because if you have to talk to your phone to like remind you to do shit, like that's just sad to me. Like I'd be like, Siri, uh, can you remind me to masturbate in a half hour? I will remind you to masturbate in 30 minutes. Thanks, Siri. I appreciate that. Uh, Siri, uh, <clears throat> You uh, remind me to uh, take the CFS. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, fuck it. I'm already fucking up, guys. I'm fucking up. It's a spider bite. <laughs> spider bite's got me. I'm really nervous. My brother and his friends are out here. They haven't seen me do comedy before, so give it up for the hooligans in the back. Uh, give it up for the bongos in the background. <clears throat> uh, give it up for boobs. Uh, Wednesday night, I got to see a, a nice pair of boobs. Um, I was pretty excited about it. I let her know. And uh, it was pretty creepy, but it was cool. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't know. Who gives a shit? A little kid doesn't. He doesn't even know what's going on. I wish you guys were all like little kids right now. <laughs> Not because I'm a pedophile, but. Well, mostly because I'm a pedophile, but. Anyways. Uh, being sober at bars, oh shit, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, I wanted to, I want to, uh, I want to make a rap album, <clears throat> and uh, start like a rap group. I want to call it Sex Butt, just because I think that's a funny name. But I want the single, I want the single, the number one single to be Baby Dick. I want to kind of go against the hip hop grain of what you usually hear. I don't want to talk about like all this stuff. Like, oh, I got this nice car and shit. I want to just be real about it. Let's talk about how average my life is, and how I still eat pop tarts, and how I live at home, and I don't drive, <laughs> and I don't get laid. So be looking out for baby dick coming out, <laughs> hitting stores near you, and coming back to media play, and bring media play back. You guys miss Media Play? Does anybody remember Media Play? I got to see the top of Jackie Chan's uh, hair at Media Play once. And I was a little kid. Jackie Chan came to Rockford once. If you don't remember that, <clears throat> you don't deserve to be here tonight. <laughs> Anyways, we'll do some crowd work because I'm freaking out. Hey, how do you guys like Love's Park? You guys are the only ones who had like a fucking dinner tonight, so I'm gonna ask you some questions. Uh, do you guys like Love's Park? Enjoy it. You look pissed off, by the way. You look absolutely upset. Like, that smoothie is pissing you off. You had to put it down, like, fuck that. Fuck the smoothie. You have, like, happy salt and pepper shakers. Like, you guys should be just smiling the whole time. Obviously, don't smoke weed. Do you have any stoners in here? Be proud of it. I mean, it's really not that bad. It grows in the ground and in some people's basements. So, it's natural. It's natural. Do you guys like Love's Park? You really answer me. You're just gonna scold it at me like my grandma. That's freaking me out right now. God. I'm a terrible comedian. <laughs> Give it up for terrible comedians. They're everywhere. I should not be featuring. This, this is what happens. 
That's why Marcos was like, hey, I'm going to feature. This will be, be a real cool time. David Franks, you got some good comedians coming out. And so like, I was like, I got to get ready for this. And so I, uh, I ate some chicken strips and took a nap <laughs> <laughs> until about 7. And then I took a shower and realized that I wrote baby dick in my notes. <laughs> And I had to somehow translate that to being funny. Which really, I mean, it just sounds funny to me. <clears throat> uh, baby dick. I could say that all night while somebody plays the bongos in the background. Uh, skinny jeans. How about skinny jeans? Anybody know about skinny jeans? Guys in the back? I brought some tonight. Not me wearing them, but I brought some guys that wear them. I'm waiting for guys to start wearing apple bottom jeans. <laughs> That's the new craze for the older people who might not know. If you guys, I'm just going to educate you. If you see uh, guys wearing jeans that you might buy at the department store, those are called skinny jeans. And uh, it is kind of gay. <laughs> a little gay. And nothing against gay people. It's against the straight guys wearing girls' jeans. You guys are bothering me right now. <laughs> and uh, when your nut sacks are not happy with you you eventually will end up with a baby dick. You will be Luke-sized at the end. I'm just kidding, Luke's probably got a bigger dick than me. Um, which is fine. I'm fine with that. We're having a good time. Are these bongos up for grabs? We got a question back here? You got, go take care of your business. I'm doing terrible up here tonight. Whose attention you need, I'll get it. All right. Are these no seriously? Whose bongos are these? Luke's dad. Luke's dad. Can I get the bongos? Can I get the bongos? All right. Everybody, just applause while I get the bongos. So this next joke, uh, I'm actually going to steal from one of my friends <clears throat> who said I could steal it, which is very sad. This is a very sad set. This is depressing. This is like watching The Notebook and masturbating and eating Easy Mac at the same time, which I also did to get prepared for the show. Um, but uh, So anyways, uh, anybody familiar with the Bible? You guys familiar with the Bible? Familiar with Jonah and the whale? Uh, this joke was actually used a couple days ago. Uh, I consider him a, he's a good friend of mine, I also consider him a writer, but he said I could use this joke. And, uh, and the story that Jonah and the Whale, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of questionable because uh, a man has gone for about 40 nights and days, and a uh, you know, big believer in God comes home smelling and reeking of fish and uh, tells his wife that he's been inside a whale for three days. Now, does that sound fishy to any of you guys? Is that what the first thing, women, would you believe that if your man came home just smelling of fish and said he was inside a whale for three days? How would you respond to that? Not well. That's the Bible, everybody. Give it up for the Bible, all right. Uh, I haven't been feeling funny all day. Actually, I have been feeling funny, but not in the good kind of way, not in the comedian kind of way. Um, which is what I'll bring up another joke. Oh, wait, this one's good. <laughs> uh, I just want to show you guys what it's like to bomb as a comedian, in case you haven't seen it before. Now you can go home and tell your friends. And then, uh, fuck, hey, YouTube, I'll see you later. Fucking bastard, that camera's gonna piss me off. Um, the best form of birth control to me is bestiality. That's a one liner. Um, <laughs> there any sheep fuckers in the house? Any sheep fuckers? How you guys doing in your chess game? Yeah? When you're making a move and you hear the word sheep fucker, does that play into your strategy at all? Getting a thumbs up, he's like, mm, pawn, pawn and sheep fucker, wait a second. 
I think I can do something with this horse looking piece. I think I'm gonna fuck him with this one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight for the queen. There we go. I'm gonna go horse to ass right here. Oh, fuck. Um, so I was talking with a, with a gay magician the other day, and he says to me, uh, last night was magical. That's a one-liner, too. Because <clears throat> we had gay sex. <clears throat> I don't mind that I'm doing terrible, by the way. This is just as amusing to me and hopefully to some of you. Um, Love's Park. You guys are from Love's Park. You're pissed off about it. You're here at a comedy show in Rockford. You're sprinkling pepper on your hand. You're about to pepper slap your hole. Um, shit's going crazy tonight. Shit's going crazy. <laughs> we got the fucking uh, the White Snake PA out. That's cool. The first time. Usually I've got like, I can just mumble and people can just assume what I'm saying is funny, but right now it's just right in your fucking face. Like Motley Crue style. Oh, shit. Shit. Have you been giving me the light? How long has that been happening? Because I haven't seen it for a while. <laughs> Alright, let's find another joke for you guys before I get the fuck off stage. Alright. Oh, does anybody know what the first reality show was? First reality, first reality show? The news? The news? <laughs> Probably. Uh, but for me, in this joke, it was uh, am like amateur porn. Because if you watch the movies, they don't have sex. That's not how you have sex. If you like watch The Notebook, or if you watch like, uh, you know, Pretty Woman and shit, like, it, it doesn't happen like that. It's just weird ball slapping, and just awkward moments. And then two minutes later, it's done. There's no sexy butt cheeks, all shaved. Yeah, it's just ball slapping, hitting ass cheeks. And it's just weird. And you've got the awkward moment put on the condom. They never throw that in the movies. And then, you know, then there's herpes and all that stuff. And none of that's ever added in the movies. But amateur porn, that's when I realized when shit was real. When I started watching porn, I was like, that's real stuff. That's how it's really supposed to be done. I feel really bad for all of you tonight. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging in there. Give it up for David Franks, John Brad, Andy Gordon. Um, I want to apologize to my brother for beating him when he was a kid, and also for bringing his friends to see this bullshit. Lou, thanks for coming up. You did better than me tonight. You can go tell your friends. He's fist pump, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm gonna fight you and your dad after this. <laughs> for bringing them out here. Actually, it helped out a lot. It took about two minutes, so. Uh, I saw the light, and I'm going to go with that. So give it up for uh, for Marcos, the comedians, and uh, an actually funny guy, Mr. Eric Michael. And uh, just keep it up going. Come on now, people, let's go. Come on, people. Thank you everybody!